Some time ago I was sipping on some coffee and having some ham and biscuits when a motion caught my eye through the truck stop window. It was a little lost puppy, half starved and shaken from fear. Well, I just had to make friends with him. So I picked him up and put him in the cab. And buddy, he took to that truck like he was born there. Well, I named him Little Joe. And as I watched him sleep on the seat beside me, that's when I knew the Little Joe would be with me for a long, long time. Well, a few months later, I was talking to my old friend Teddy Bear on the old CB and not paying much attention to my back door. And little Joe started barking up a storm. I looked up and I saw a Smokey in the mirror, and I slowed my rig down just in time. But you know something? Teddy Bear heard little Joe barking, and he said, Hey, Big Red, let me talk to your partner. And I said, You got it, good buddy. How's the old Smokey situation, little Joe? And little Joe said, Gruff. Oh, that just tore him up. And the next 200 miles just flew by. Cause everybody on that CB wanted to talk to Little Joe. Well, one night we were headed through the Smokies in East Tennessee. And Little Joe started acting real nervous. I heard the sounds of lightning on the old CB. And suddenly we were in the worst storm that I'd ever seen. All at once I saw headlights coming straight at my rig. Someone was blinded in the rain. So I swerved fast and just barely missed a camper full of kids. But the shoulder gave way and we crashed over the side of the mountain. And when I woke up, my truck was on fire and I couldn't move. But somehow, little Joe grabbed me by the collar and pulled me away from that burning rig. Well, I was in the hospital the next time I woke up and the doctor was there to break the bad news. The accident had taken my sight. Oh God, now I can't even drive. And that's when I realized how helpless Teddy Bear must have felt before the miracle happened that made him walk again. And then I thought, well now, where, where, where's little Joe? No, not, ain't nobody said anything about little, where's, oh. I was so sad because I figured little Joe had given his life to save me. Well, my brother asked me to come live with him, and when he opened the door to my new room, I heard an old CB just a blaring away. Well, I couldn't wait to grab that mic, and the first voice I heard was my old buddy Teddy Bear, ratchet jawing in the distance. So I broke for him, and he came right back to me. Why, it was almost like old times again. Teddy Bear was a yakking away, unloading all the latest news on me and getting louder and louder. But all of a sudden, the sound of an engine seemed to drown Teddy Bear out. And I said, hey, what's going on? Teddy Bear said, open your front door, good buddy. I'm just outside. Lord, the roar of engines seemed to rock the house. And all around me, I could hear familiar voices and slamming doors. Oh, I couldn't hold back the tears. All my friends were there. And then I heard something I couldn't believe. Little Joe, that bark? Why, it had to be little Joe. And no sooner than that, he was all over me. And I put my arms around my old partner, and the tears were streaming down my face. And then I felt something strange. Little Joe hadn't worn a collar before, and attached to the collar was a handle. A hush fell over my friends. And I realized, Lord, my new eyes were standing at my feet. Little joke.